Um, we must now introduce our keynote speaker. And of course, in some ways, George Ellis does not need introduction. But in other ways, he very definitely does because he's been at ASSET for so long that we tend to think of him as George, the boff who sits around the table in our board meetings. But actually, George is quite an extraordinary person. He is one of the world's top scientist. He's a cosmologist who's in, involved in relative cosmology, taking Einstein's work further. Now, don't ask me to explain any of this. I can't. But the point is, he's way beyond anything that I, who didn't do science for matric, um, because it wasn't offered in the school, uh, can begin to understand. So he could be sitting in an ivory tower somewhere and, and uh, living a, a life of, of um, relative luxury and prestige. But instead, he chooses to work in South Africa. He came back after getting his, his PhD and being a lecturer for nine years uh, in, in, in the UK and to, to join the Quakers and race relations in Cape Town and get stuck into everyday work of bringing down the apartheid regime and building up the communities, the skills, the people who would need to take over. And this is quite extraordinary. He has spent his adult life working as much for change and and um, and reskilling and end skilling in in South Africa as he has um, uh, in his own career as a brilliant cosmologist. He's also, of course, profoundly impacted thinking on ethics. He's not just interested in the measurable side of science, but also in that non-measurable side, the side that provides the energy for good in society, the force for good, the force for change, the force to do better. George is an George extraordinary is person. person. Um, um, he is, above all, a humble person. He never wants to be praised. He never wants to put himself first. And his values are always ahead of him. He's true to those values and works incredibly hard as an enormous amount of energy. When he won a prize for his wonderful research work, he gave most of it away. A big chunk to asset where he bought the building at Five Long Street, which is now called the George Ellis Building, and providing a fund. He's one of our biggest funds that asset ad ad administers, the George and Mary, Mary Ellis Fund. And he continued to work for us to give his time. The generosity is, is quite extraordinary. And I have to say this, he still went on driving. He's beaten up old Taz for decades. I'm not sure what he's driving now, but it probably looks like the old Taz. So, George, you are quite extraordinary, and we are grateful to you for your contribution over many, many years. But we want to hear directly from you at this point. So over to you, George, and thank you. George is in Germany right now, so we are linking up with him from afar.